One of the great things about working inside Premier Elements is that we have a complete workflow. We start off with the project. If you'll have a look at the task pane tabs here, we start off with the project where we build our video. Then we go through and edit the different parts of that video and add effects and maybe make some changes and enhancements. And then we go and create some disk menus. Now these are the sorts of menus that you'd normally see when you play a DVD or a Blu-ray video. And they give you buttons to jump to different scenes. And then we can go ahead and share our creations. Now creating disk menus is terrific if you want to go out to disk. But what if we want to display and present our videos on the web? Wouldn't it be terrific to have the same type of presentation that we're used to when working with DVDs on the internet as well? Well with Premiere Elements 10 we can do precisely that. So here we have a quick video put together of some kids playing soccer. If we go through to the disk menus and we just add a couple of scene markers. So I'll go through to the menu marker option and then set menu marker. And with set menu marker we have the ability to select scene marker or main menu marker or stop menu marker. These three different types of markers. And we also have the ability to choose a motion button. So I'm going to select a motion button. I'll just call this scene 1 and we'll leave it as a scene marker. Now let's move the playhead and we'll add in another marker and we'll call this scene 2 and we'll make it a motion button as well click OK move the head again let's add another one in scene 3 of course make sure it's a motion button and click OK and just one more for good measure. Add that in menu marker, set menu marker, choose the one that we want, scene 4, and motion button, click OK. Now that we have all of those markers, and you can see them sitting here as little green dots on the timeline, we can go and select the type of disk menu that we want to work with. We'll just look in the sports section and just scroll down and you'll see we actually have a soccer action disk menu which we'll select and then just click apply. The previews over on the left hand side here will change and you'll notice that because we have predefined some scenes then extra menu options will become available for us. If you don't have scenes defined and you haven't set any scene markers well then you won't get these extra screens that you can see here you'll just get the front screen. There are some parts of the design that you can change. For instance, if we double click on the topmost title, we can change the title of our video. Click OK. There's also the option to adjust the size so we can make it larger. And we can change the color and also change the type of font that we're working with. If we go through to the other scenes, you'll notice that there's also the ability for us to change the text here as well. We'll go back to the main menu now and just click on the background and we have the option here for adding in a video. So we can browse for the file and then just select the video that we want to add and click open. You see the video now sitting in the background. We can choose to add in some audio as well and we can choose the duration that the video will be played. So I'm just going to drop down the duration, just click and drag to the left. So it's just a very short duration. And I'm going to apply a default transition before it loops the video. So it's just a little bit smoother. If we then go over to the Scenes menu, we have the ability to change some options here as well, including things like the text. We can preview how this disk menu looks by just clicking on the Preview button. Here we have the main menu. Then we can click through to the Scenes. It will take us to the Scenes menu and we can select any of those scenes to actually go through to the video itself. Just close out of that. Now that we've created a disk menu for our video, we can then go to the Share Task Pane and we have a new option here called Web DVD. If we select Web DVD, 
then we can choose to either upload our web DVD directly to photoshop.com or save it to a folder on our computer which we can then share with our friends and relatives. There's several presets that we can select. I'm going to select HD NTSC and we'll just change the project title. Just pop it onto the desktop for the moment and then click build. As Premier Elements is building this, I'm going to speed up this section of the tutorial and just show you the results. Once the web DVD has been produced, you'll then get a link in the share pane as you can see here, which when we click on it will take us directly to the new web DVD. And there it is. So we can click through to the scenes menu. You can see all the animated buttons. We also have the second scene menu screen. We can go back to the main menu and we can go ahead and play the movie. So it has all of the features of a standard DVD menu system, but it's available via the web. Remember, you can upload this directly to photoshop.com, or you can save it off to a file on your desktop and then upload it to your own website. So have a go at creating some web DVDs yourself.